Welcome to day 71 of my 100 days of Waffler journey. Today we're going to have a look at how to create a table of content or anchor links on the CMS of your Webflow using the FinSuite attributes. Super easy to build, super useful and super powerful if you want to create a lot of content and different content across different CMS pages. So we're going to be using rich text, we're going to be using the FinSuite attribute and we're going to build that on a blog on Webflow. So let's get to it. Let's see how this is done. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. Let's go. All right, so let's see how this is done. So I have this blog here and it's split into parts. So I want to have uh, some sort of like a map for each part so that it just scrolls me to that part. So we have the FinSuite table of content. So we have the FinSuite table of content. Now this is, uh, let's have a look at this. So this is uh, an attribute solution that's built by FinSuite and it gives you a table of content. Now we just need to copy this script, paste it in the head tag. So this script is to be pasted here, we save it. Now this is the steps that we need to follow, but I want to copy this example here. So there is an example here that you can just copy and literally paste on your project. So let's say I copy this, I'm going to paste it here and then it's there and it has all the attributes. So you can just copy it from there. So the rich text has a content or even you can, let's say, let's see our rich text here. So this is the rich text. Uh, but you will need to copy this uh, attribute. So the content, we already did that. And then we'll need the sidebar. So I'm just going to copy the sidebar. I'm going to add it here. And then I will, I don't need all this. I just need this one. And this will be some sort of like a dot. It doesn't push. Um, let's make it two rams actually. Yeah, that's much better. And then let's hide this color. Let's remove this color, transparent. All right, so this is the, the tag. So this, this element here has a, an attribute of link. And that is the text that will be pasted. So here they talk about that. So it only works from H2 to H6. So remember that uh, this is the diagram you need to follow if you if you're using more like subcategories and subcategories. So you follow like this structure here and uh, using active state and current state. Now to get the current state, you go to the. So to get the current state, you will go to example, you go to the link and then you will choose the current blog post and then you will see like it turned yellow so this is the current state you see here current so now we can change it to let's say i don't know red or green let's say um, for example and then maybe uh, you make it bold yeah bold like this so let's publish this and uh, let's remove this link actually as well. Let's publish again. And let's see how this works out. So this is working fine. So you see here, go to part one, it goes to part one. Uh, and see, you can, because I have the nav sticky, it's not showing properly. And to solve that, I will just need to do an offset from the top. So we can just add this attribute to the rich text itself and just say offset say six rams or you choose whatever uh, unit you want and you save it publish let's have a look here now so if let's say i choose part one i get an offset so i can see part one if i choose part three same thing i can just see part three so this is table of content i mean there is much more you can mix and match between different things and get better results. But uh, on a basic level, this is very useful. I am building a project that has similar requirements. So I just did this. 
so that's it that's the video for today tomorrow's video we will look on how to add uh, components on your rich text element that'll be fun so let's wait for that thank you for watching this video i hope i taught you something today make sure to subscribe give me a thumbs up stay tuned on this 100 days of waffle journey see you tomorrow in day 72